tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Started with animation. Today I'm going to talk about creating curves from interesting 3D objects. We go to polygon modeling here and we create a helix. And where is the helix? It's right here, right mouse button, helix. Now in the attribute editor you can set the number of coils and the height and the width and the radius and now we use the right mouse button and select the edges the edges are these things here and if you double click one of them especially the ones which are sort of horizontal the whole curl will be selected it's called a loop when we select this one with a double click we get the middle loop in this case here so with this selected all the edges here with a double click we go to curves and we need to be under modeling for that modeling menu set and curves and now we duplicate the surface curves what we have here the are the edges and basically curve 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 and we want to duplicate them now have a look at this representation of the curve here it actually looks like a curve but it's many many li little segments of curves and you see that here when you open this section you have all the curves here 200 if you start out with a different object you can have 50 or 500 whatever now um, this doesn't help us a lot because when we for example look at this one it doesn't help us a lot so what we'll do now is we select all the curves from curve 1 to curve 200 the sequence of selection is important so don't select 174 and then a couple of others etc because now we'll build one curve out of these 200 curves and this is a simple command as well you need to find it it's under curves because we're still dealing with curves and you attach all of these 200 curves into a single new curve which is here it's called duplicated curve attached curve number one now we can delete all the small curves here this little segments and we can delete the helix and we have this spiral curve so when you have the plan to create an interesting curve for a special purpose or just for art exploit this geometry to create interesting curves new scene second example and I create an ultra shape the ultra shape looks like a sphere in fact it is a sphere right now but when you go in the attribute editor to poly super shape number one you can click on random rather than going opening this section and changing these parameters here you see uh, just random and uh, random again and random again you have this kind of geometry here we do the same thing we go to edge with the right mouse button and now we can double click this one for example and create curves from that curve duplicate surface curves again we have lots of curves 64 now altogether they're already selected anyway so um, let's go to curves and attach them all and delete those curves now we have an interesting curve right here let's exploit the surface a second time right mouse click edge and this time we select this one and we repeat the last command curves duplicate surface curves and they're all selected currently curves 
attach and now we delete all the small curves and we have these two curves now now let's delete the super shape and select the curves if you have three curves or more the selection order is important and now we go to curves and surfaces because we're going to create a NURBS surface and this one a loft it goes from the top one to the bottom curve when you do this with a vertical edge selection here like so duplicate the surface curves attach them delete all the little pieces delete that surface duplicate it control D rotate it and now shift D repeats the last duplication transform which means uh, we won't have just a duplicate in the same position as as this one but it will rotate th by the same amount so shift D shift D shift D shift D so we have quite a few curves now now let's select them in a sequence and create a loft from them and this is the amazing structure we get the gray shader is inside so we go to surfaces and reverse the direction now we're ready to render it and keep in mind this object is similar to the previous one so you can actually rebuild surfaces polygon surfaces especially in a very elegant way using this command duplicate surface curves bye bye